Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Okay guys, so we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss, and it has been a weekend. We just got back to Hilton Head, which uh, or where we live over here in South Carolina, and I'm really excited just to be back home because I want to get back into the, the next week of doing things. Jason's going to be gone for a week, so going into tomorrow through I think it's Monday through Sunday that he's going to be gone. It's going to be so weird. I think that's the longest amount of time that maybe, maybe that we have not been around each other. Wow. Okay. Anyways, back to it. We're back to talk about Bethany Frankel, but also Morgan Wade's new lyrics. If you guys didn't hear them, um, it kind of seems like she was in a relationship with Kyle Richards. At least that is the spin that the media is putting on it. So before we jump in, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Bethany Frankel of it all. Um, with Reality Blurb, thank you. Bethany Frankel opened up about ignoring the red flags early on in her relationship with her ex-husband, Jason Hoppe. You guys remember the one who felt entitled to the $100 million fortune. So she also admitted to suffering from massive trust issues and post-traumatic stress disorder following their years-long divorce on another episode. But she revealed overlooking warning signs and convincing herself to be with Jason at a low, vulnerable, vulnerable point in her life. I wasn't really that into him, is what she said on the April 12th episode of Just Be Divorced. Wait a minute. I don't know if you guys... I don't know if you guys saw this, but if you didn't, I'm going to see if I can't pull one up of Bethany. But Bethany Frankel, with this Just Be Divorced, she keeps posting things. And... Yeah, here it is. Hold on. I'm going to play it. That's the only way to do it. Present, present, present. So I am going to talk about something that I've never talked about and that nobody knows about. My 10-year divorce on a two-year marriage. It's been a journey. So I'm ready to discuss it. Have I discussed my divorce in little pieces? And have I discussed divorce in general? Yes. Has the media written about my divorce ad nauseum? Yes. But have I ever really spoken about my divorce from my perspective, how it all went down? No. Somehow I have to find the way to convey to people so they don't go through it. I just think I can do that. I think that I was born to do that. I've been burned. I have massive trust issues. And it's why I have not gotten married again. It was literally the most traumatizing thing that I will hopefully ever go through in my life. So I am going to talk about okay. something that I've never talked about. And okay. Well, I don't know how to. And she keeps going. Wait, I think this is one. So I want to talk about this divorce podcast that I've just launched. It was something that I was just sitting in front of the podcast microphone and don't even know why I just started talking about this. I haven't talked about this in, I've never fully talked about this and I've never shared the entire story from the very beginning. I do so many things that I make money off of, like, you know, while I'm sleeping, you know, whether it's selling salad dressings or apparel or just my money, making money, things like that. And honestly, I don't feel fulfilled in many ways because it's not really helping anyone. My philanthropy does help people, but there are people that really run that now for me after building it for the most part. Um, and I don't do anything that makes me feel like it has purpose, like it's important and like it could really help people. And the only thing that got me through that horrendous div divorce that is by far the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life while I was in it, one mile at a time, like thinking of it as either miles or golf. I go back and forth, like am I in the fourth mile? You think you are at the 17th mile and then you get pulled back to the second mile. And the only thing that got me through is that I thought one day I'm going to be able to help other people, but I haven't really been able to figure out how I was going to do that. And I forgot about it. Like 
I, I, it's not that I forgot about what happened. It's the biggest torture of my life. It's that I kind of like didn't know what the vehicle would be, how I would possibly be able to help other people or really show them or explain to them how it could never happen to them. And I've thought about launching a divorce podcast because I've talked about divorce on my podcast and it's blown up because I'm talking about, you know, other people and their mistakes or prenups or just dabbling. But for some reason, it never occurred to me to talk about my story. And there's no aspect of divorce, custody, money, prenup, abuse, there's no aspect that I have not experienced except for physical abuse. The only thing I didn't experience every single other thing I have experienced. And so that's why I just sat down and decided to didn't even decide, just started talking. And now I realize that it's going to be, it could be a year's wolf worth of content. I mean, I've been writing about it now trying to, you know, Okay, so what I'm gathering, um, I just find it, I find Bethany Frankel to be such a character. I think that she is very clear and concise in the things that she wants to grow and make big as far as her businesses. And obviously, she she just, the execution is all there. But then I watch her and she's running the reality reckoning and then the also re- wives podcast to talk about that but then that wasn't fulfilling which obviously it wouldn't have been but now she wants to talk about divorce but then she's going to talk about being a mother but then she's going to go back to the reality reckoning once that hits traction again but then sometimes when she's not she's talking about travis kelsey and taylor swift but also the kardashians skincare i i'm just very confused at where we're at with bethany frankel but anyways you know what else i'm confused by Morgan Wade and Kyle Richards. This was something that I don't know if you guys saw. I'm going to share a screenshot and then I'm going to read the lyrics to you because this shit. Um, hold on. Lyrics to Morgan Wade's title track for her new album, Accidentally. You're the only one they're all talking about the only one or the only see you on the streets when you're walking around but i've seen you late at night eating takeout you're the only one they're all talking about early in the morning when the sun comes up you're most vulnerable and you're all undone you're the last thing my heart wants to love early in the morning when the sun comes up and my entire life is wrapped up in your hazel eyes baby we can both sleep when we're dead I don't know where to begin. Can I hold you till the waves cave in? Baby, I am so obsessed. Baby, I am so obsessed. You're my favorite story. Won't you give me a roll? Write all my lines and I'll do what I'm told. Keep me around until I'm good and old. You're my favorite story. Won't you give me a roll? My entire life is wrapped up in your hazel eyes. Baby, we can both sleep when we're dead. I don't know where to begin. Can I hold you till the walls cave, walls cave in? Jesus. Okay. Baby, I'm so obsessed. Yeah. Okay. We get the gist. Um, this... I'm still going with the fact that I think they're together, especially after this. And... Kyle does have hazel eyes. So pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, I'm going to start reaching out and seeing about Hot Messy tomorrow. But I'll keep you guys posted in the community tab. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.